Welcome back in, everybody, to this broadcast of Northland Basketball. It's the uh, 3A North Region Basketball Tournament presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Floyd Simmons here with our broadcast team getting set to bring you game two now, game two on day one of the tournament. Three boys games, three girls games. Here's the first of the girls games. The number, number four seeded Chin Lee Lady Wildcats taking on Number five, Tuba City. And Koa Yazi jumps center and controls for the Wildcats as she jumped against Natasha Akothli. And the Wildcats get the first opportunity at it. The shot is no good, and we are underway with more coverage of the 3A North Region Tournament, the first girls game. Winner of this gets a chance to play tomorrow against the top-seeded Paige Lady Sand Devils. By the way, the rankings find these two teams back-to-back -back the state rankings as Natasha Coffley's first shot attempt is no good. In the state rankings, Chin Lee is number 13, Tuba City's number 12. Our rankings in this one. And the first points are scored by the Wildcats in working in the paint with the left hand. Shot is good for Dijon, Dijon White for their first points in this one, 2-0. The early Wildcats lead. Tuba City and a blocked shot. Koa Yazi comes flying out of nowhere to get that shot block on Trice Sinigini. Tuba's back to work with it, Justice Nez, and that's gonna be tipped around for a moment, controlled by Dijon White and Chin Lee, but stolen right back by Tuba, and Natasha Coffey will head to the foul line after contact is made. And it was the first foul of the game on uh, Koa Yazi. Pretty early in the game for Koa to get her first foul. Here comes Natasha Akafli to the line and her first attempt is no good. So as we get into the game, get it just underway, the Warriors Still look for their first point. Got it right there. Two to one. Two to one. The Wildcats out in front in this one. So Tuba City has the one spot advantage in the state rankings. Tuba City is number 12. Chin Lee is number 13. But the seedings for the tournament, Chin Lee is number four and Tuba City is number five. So they reverse 
positions, one spot apart. Seedings versus rankings. And a foul. And two shots coming up. And I believe that was a Coughley that. No, it wasn't. It was Trees Cinny Jenny. Trees picks up her first personal foul, the first team foul on the Warriors. Jin Lee's got one, and Georgia Vasquez is at the line. That free throw is good for Georgia. Six minutes, 21 seconds remaining. Francine McCurtain, the head coach of the Jin Lee Wildcats, watches one of her starters, Georgia. Vasquez missed that free throw. Georgia joins Koa. Koyazi, Dijon White, Jaden Lynch in the starting lineup. And the other, the other out there on the floor right now is Alyssa Williams for the Wildcats. Meanwhile, this one is almost stolen along Koyazi pass. Nearly intercepted by Justice Nez. Justice number four there. She joins Ariana Begay, number 15. Let's see. Uh, Kayana Susan Yadami, Kiki. So we call her, number 11. She is in the lineup out there. Natasha Akopli and Therese Sinigini are the, the five in this lineup for Tuba City. And there is Susan Yadami with the basketball. Dribbles toward the top to Justice Nez on the angle left side. Inside to Natasha Akopli. Cut off by three defenders. Had to get it back outside for a three-point try that wasn't going to go in for Ariana Begay. It's rebounded by the Wildcats. Here they go. Jaden Lynch to the angle. Koa Yazi guarded closely by Ariana Begay. Back to Lynch toward the left side. And here's Alyssa Williams. She'll feed Koa for the pull up three. That will just rim out. No good. Boy, well, such a quick release by Koa out there. Almost got the shot. Couldn't get it to go, though. Georgia Vasquez has it on the baseline. Cut off by the Tuba defense. And then a jump ball. Tied up. Ariana Begay got hands in there. To tie up Koa Yazi. And it will be Tuba's basketball. And we'll get a sub in for Alyssa Williams. She leaves the floor. And Nevea Jishi is in the lineup. Gets some... Early action here in the first quarter for the Wildcats. They lead 3-1. to one. Tubas basketball. Justice Nez. She has it knocked away. Scrambled for it. Nevaeh Jishi was there making the play, but eventually it's Kiana Susaniotomy with her first basket. And then the first field goal for Tuba City, took him almost four minutes to get that first shot to go from the field, and it ties the game three apiece, and Natasha Coughley will steal a pass intended for Dijon White. Natasha brings it across. The pass is tipped. Georgia Vasquez tips it. Tuba City still had a shot at it. It came down to, to Kiki, but she couldn't make her shot. On the left angle, Vasquez. Now Nevaeh Jishi with it. Back left side to, to Jaden Lynch. And she tries to hit Koyazi coming across the left side of the key. It's stolen again by Tuba City. They've done a good job defensively early in this game. Tuba has. And it's a low scoring game to start this one. Three to three so far. But Tuba loses the ball out of bounds. Here go the Wildcats. Possession again with it. Three and a half minutes remaining in the, in the quarter. Desiree Yazi checks into the game, replacing Vasquez. For the Wildcats. The inbound to Koa Yazi. Across to Jishi. Now Desiree Yazi. Working around, playing catch on the outside. Hanukkah Nez is in there. There's Koa Yazi going baseline. Some fancy dribbling. Dishes for the assist on a three-point shot. Good by Nabea Jishi. First three made in the game. And a 6-3 to three lead for the Wildcats after that one goes in. Dribble gets knocked out of bounds. 
Hey, a moment ago, it was Ganado. Ganado with a 61 to 57 boys region tournament victory over Tuba City. And a tipped pass, Desiree Yazi tipped it. Nevaeh Jishi collects it in, and Nevaeh takes it all the way up the floor to get the points for the Wildcats. Nevaeh has got five early points for the Cats. Pull up, jump shot. Is up there on the way, no good for Ariana Begay, and nobody touched it after Ariana released it, so it goes over to the Wildcats. Fourth seeded Chin Lee taking on the number five seed, Tuba City. Game two of six today, and we'll carry all these for you here on the Sports Zone Radio YouTube and Facebook channels. So thank you all for checking in there. And uh, do plan to get out here. Got a lot of people. We are sitting at 1,000 people watching right now. Thank you for being there, everybody. Beautiful lob. Desiree gets the assist inside to Najon. Dijon gets that bucket. Coach Kim Williams says, give me a timeout to the city. We'll spend that one right there. We'll take this timeout with 2.14 remaining in the quarter, everybody. This is Northland Basketball and the 3A North Region Tournament presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. With Choice and TUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. 2-14, 2-14 remaining in the first quarter. Inbound for the Warriors. They'll bring it across. Ariana Begay, right side. Justice Snez now. Here's Natasha Coffley. And also into the game is Thalia Klitso, and she'll feed it to the baseline. To Therese, Cindy Jenny inside to Nat Natasha Coffley, and she gets tied up for a jump ball. That was Koa Yazi of Chin Lee. Getting her hands on the ball. And here comes the inbound. Hanika Nez brings it across to Desiree Yazi. Koa Yazi thought about shooting, drive and dish. And Desiree with a beautiful left hand kissing it off the glass. Boy, that was a great looking shot. And technically sound, wasn't it? I mean, that's what your old school coach is going to teach you all day long. Use that backboard. It's there for a reason. Here's the shot. Don't need to use the shot uh, backboard on that shot, though. Ariana misses, and Dijon with the rebound for the Wildcats. Here they go. Annika Nez to Jishi, and she'll dribble to the top of the key. Left side, Koa, step back, three on the way. Koa Yazi, count that three. Koa's first point of the game. Second three made by the Wildcats. They've got a 15-3 lead right now. 12-0 run. 12-point run by the Wildcats. And here's a whistle. And that's a Wildcat foul. Boy, that's Koyazi's second foul of the game. Koa's going to have to depart. She legs it with her team in front, 15-3. 12-0 run by the Wildcats right now. We'll see if they can keep that up with Koa off the floor. See if they can stretch that even further. Well, not going to happen. A great inbound pass. It was uh, Thalia Klitso finding, uh, finding uh, Natasha Akafli under the basket to break the spell. Runner is on the way. That's no good for Desiree Yazi. Desiree made some contact on the rebound, as often happens when you miss a shot like that. But no whistle, no foul, and a steal. As Tuba tried to set their offense, dropped the pass back right into the hands of Dijon White. So the Wildcats back to work with it. Nevaeh Jishi. And she loses the dribble. Tuba up with it. They've got numbers. Nope, they're gonna, not going to be able to get those numbers to the basket. And a, a pass going out, drifting out of bounds. It was saved in. 
Saved in in the final seconds there. I believe that was Aubrey Begay in the game. And Aubrey saved it in right to Dijon. But time runs out before anything further can happen. And the first quarter comes to an end. Our score, Chinley 15, Tuba City 5. Stand by for the second quarter. Everybody, Northland Basketball and the 3A North Region Tournament presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Second, uh, second quarter gets underway, everybody. And I don't know who made that basket. Was that Natasha or Susan Yachty? It was Natasha Coffley. They gave credit to the wrong lady on the board. So I couldn't use that as my guide. And I was busy sending a text message at the time, sending a message to uh, State Representative Myron Sosi, who gave away a couple of gas cards on one of our recent broadcasts. Thank you. Representative Sosi, trying to see how we can get uh, the representative involved with the rest of our coverage here. And uh, and uh, Myron says he's watching online right now. Hope that it's all going well for you, Myron. We're having a, a handful of technical issues over here, but hopefully we're covering those enough so you can't really tell. And uh, but. Uh, all in all, things are going okay on our broadcast coverage. Day one of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. There's a Dijon White pull-up jump shot that is no good. And Tuba City takes back over with an eight-point deficit to overcome, and they'll get some of it back right there. Aubrey Begay takes the feed, and Aubrey with her first points today. The second quarter gets underway, and the first two baskets in the quarter are collected by Tuba City. Cut that 10-point lead down to six. On the baseline, trouble there. Alyssa Williams had to get rid of it. Georgia Vasquez with a look at three right now, and that's going to be that's going to carry him off the right side of the rim. Rebounded by Dijon White outside for three, and Koa's shot comes up a little bit off the mark. Another offensive rebound. Feed it inside. Georgia Vasquez missing, and finally it's Tuba City clearing things up. Well, if you're the Wildcats, if you're Coach Francine McCurtain, boy, I tell you, you've got to be a little frustrated. They're getting numerous opportunities. Couldn't get any of those to go in, and we go under six minutes on the clock here in the second quarter. And a shot gets launched from outside. That one is going to be off the mark. Ariana Begay couldn't couldn't get that to go, and it's knocked out by the Wildcats. You know, here come two new Lady Wildcats into the game. Nevaeh Jishi is back out there. Hanukkah Nez is coming into the game as well for the Wildcats. Hanukkah number 30. Nevaeh number 24 joins number 40, George Vasquez. Number 23, Koa Yazi, and uh, number 20, Alyssa Williams. And that's a very unusual rotation right now for Coach McCurtain. Boy, I can't. I just don't feel like I've seen this group together much out there on the floor. Could be wrong, could be mistaken, but doesn't look like a familiar uh, grouping. As you get a, a double dribble called on the Wildcats, they're going to give it up and give Tuba another opportunity right here. See if the Warriors can get six points unanswered right here in the quarter. 
Inbound to Coffley. Yep, going to do it. Good pass. And Natasha, right place, right time. And Coffley has seven points now as the Warriors battle back into this one. Get it to a four-point deficit inside Vescas. And Georgia's going to turn around but miss her shot. Tipped around. And it's Ariana Begay controlling. Uh, Aubrey Begay. Aubrey controlling on the rebound for the Warriors. This is Yadami on the baseline. Throws that one up. Not going to make it. A costly rebound. Nope, they're going to say she pushed to get position for that rebound. That'll be a Natasha Coffley personal foul. So Tuba City picks up there. The first team foul of the second quarter. They've, they've only been whistled twice. And the Wildcats have only been whistled twice in the whole game. They don't have any fouls here in the second quarter with 441 left till halftime. 15 to 11. Desiree Yazi back outside. Here's Georgia Vasquez run the weave out there. Nevea Jishi drives and maybe not the best shot selection and yet another missed opportunity for the Wildcats. Can't seem to get the offense going in the second quarter. With that hustle play by those two young ladies. It's Ariana Begay out there. Working hard against Hanneke Nez. Ends up being a jump ball. And the Wildcats will have the inbound coming up. There's your scramble. Looking for that second wind out there. You can see the exhaustion on the faces. Those young ladies. Here's Nevaeh Jeshi on the right angle. The Wildcats are going to lob it over the top of the defense. Zajon had good, good position. Shoots from the baseline and gets it to sneak up and over and in. They're going to count the shot. And Natasha Coffley gets her second foul to send Dijon to the line to make it an end one, if she will. So finally, the Wildcats get second quarter points. It took them better than half the quarter to do it. Watch this ball. Watch it just get up and over. Good shot on the replay. Good job by our production team led by our producer, Derek Simmons, who also operates the camera you just looked at. Therese, Cindy Jenny has it. Therese was wearing a, uh, she was wearing a, a protector, a facial protector a little while ago, and she's taken that off. And uh, that's going to be no good on the shot by Aubrey Begay. Rebound, Wildcats. In front, 18 to 11. Travel. Desiree Yazi says, I don't think so. She didn't like the call, not one bit. He gets you some official names here in a little bit. We're going to give away some gas cards to an official. Covers games here across Northeast Arizona. We'll find out who that is later on in our day. Pass just ripped away by the Joan White. Up the floor this goes in the corner. Nevaeh Jishi. She tries to bounce a pass into the paint. And Tuba City is there to tie it up. Give the ball to Tuba City. And we're going to get a whistle. Timeout. It's the Wildcats. Wildcats want to spend that timeout. Everybody will stay right here and remind you what's going on with the bracket here. It's game two of today's six games on day one of the 3A North Region Tournament. Coming up after this one, at 3 o'clock, it's a boys showdown. Number three, number three seeded Monument Valley will take on number six, Alchese. And immediately following that, at 4.30, is Monument Valley and Alchese again. Only it's the girls this time. Number three, Monument Valley. Number six, Alchese coming up in the girls' game. And that's at 4.30. Then at 6 o'clock, another boys' game. 6 p.m. tonight. Number two seed, uh, Page. Number two, Page, taking on number seven seeded Window Rock. And then we wrap up our entire afternoon and evening with a 7.30 start time for the sixth game. It's a girls game. It's number number two, Window Rock, against number seven, Ganado. And we'll get a foul. That's going to be... Uh, Thalia Klitso, who's coming to the game, and Klitso gets called for the foul. And then 
We'll stop play for a moment because Koa Yazi is on the floor in some pain and being attended to by some medical personnel from, from the Wildcats. 18 to 11 is our score right now with 248 remaining in the first half. So they get Koa on her feet. And they're going to assist her to the bench. Well, they're looking at Koa's eye is what they're doing. They're looking at her right eye. Hope that she is she's okay. Didn't see the play that led to this. She looks like she's getting a little bit better as they go along. There's a pass stolen in backcourt. Thalia Klitzo steals it. Desiree Yazi swats that one away, but also got made some contact on that. Desiree picks up her first foul in the game. That'll be team foul number number one on the Wildcats in the quarter. It's a shooting foul. The Warriors have three team fouls here in the second quarter. This one is good. Somebody out there just said hello from Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence, Kansas. Five point game. Steal, Tuba, going to work out there, aren't they? That's Stalia again. She just got the foul shots, and now she gets a field goal. Just like that, she's got four points in the game for the Warriors, and they have cut this down to a three-point Wildcats lead. Hanneke Nez underneath. She has fouled two shots on the way for Hanneke. And I believe it was Trees Cindy Jenny underneath. That's uh, two fouls in the game on Trees. This is Hannah Kinez. Toe in the line, as they say. That shot is good. Wildcats, three for four in the first half at the free throw line. Let's see if Hannah can improve that percentage by a little bit. She does. A couple of ladies. Got into the lane early, and they both backed out, and the officials waiting to see if that shot was going to go in or not. Because Tuba City was, I think, first in. Had that shot rimmed off, I think they would have given Hanukkah another foul shot. But he made, she made both. 20 to 15. Chin Lee back to a five-point advantage from the corner. Nope. Justice Nez passed up on the shot opportunity. Ariana Begay now outside to... Kiana Susan Yadami, offensive foul. Somebody was moving. And that somebody was Aubrey Begay. And she'll get her first foul. Aubrey Begay, number 10, out there on the floor. Ariana Begay, number 15 as well. Justice Nez, she's wearing number four. Thalia Klitzo, jersey number three. And then uh, Kiana Susan Yadami, who wears number 11. There's a Aubrey Begay blocked shot. Said, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's not going to. That's not going to happen. Knocked it out of bounds. And Desiree Yazi will set to throw the ball in for the Wildcats. Comes into Dijon for a jumper. No good. George Vasquez rebound. Chinley tied up in the paint. Jump ball. Should be the Wildcats basketball. It is. Chinley has it. Desiree try to throw it in again. They're running the same play, but it wasn't open in the paint. Into Dijon toward the corner. She toward the corner. She tried to throw it back to, to Desiree, and Desiree was going the opposite direction. Didn't matter anyway because the defender knocked it out of bounds, and they're going to run another play. Same spot. Desiree throws it in. She's getting a lot of practice throwing in from that spot. Got it into Georgia Vasquez. Now Desiree gets the ball and feeds Dijon inside. It's blocked. Aubrey Begay blocked the shot, but then Dijon scooped it up and put it in for two and then got the foul as well. The lady that committed the foul is Justice Nez. Justice with her first foul of the game. Dijon got an and one a moment ago, and we'll see if she does it again right here with her team in front, 22 to 15.
That one caroms off. The Green Machines got the basketball up in the front court. Justice Nez to the corner. Stalia Klitzo, now Susan Yadami, now right side. It's Ariana Begay. Back to Kiki. Susan Yadami launched that one way downtown. She was a good, well, I'm going to say she must have been 26 feet. Almost hit the shot, but almost only counts in horseshoes. And hand grenades. They say, anyway, I don't know. Minute one remaining in the first half. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass intent. Halftime report coming up. Georgia Vasquez uh, fields the inbound pass. And Dijon with a great assist. Backdoor cut. Georgia Vasquez finishes it. That bounce pass beat the defense. And it was a great delivery by Dijon, taking a page out of her big sister, Stacy Begay's playbook. And boy, Stacy was so good in all facets. Still is so good. Not was, still is. Dijon picks up her first foul right there. Stacy throw the assist, set her teammates up, or score inside, outside, do it all. Dijon's got a lot of those qualities. Justice Naz right here. That'll count. And Wildcats lead is cut to eight. That make by Justice. And seven is the lead now for the Wildcats. Here comes the inbound for Chin Lee. Jaden Lynch. And Nevea Jishi has it knocked out. Klitzo got there and knocked it out of bounds. It'll be a reset. Inbound coming up. For the Cats. Tupac City, by the way, has five team fouls. Wildcats in the bonus. Two-shot bonus. Georgia Vasquez tried to use the glass. Couldn't. Joan the rebound. Tied up. Good job by, by Thalia Klitzo. She was there. Got her hands in it to, to tie it up. Force the force the uh, the inbound pass, which belongs to Tuba. Warriors. Justice Nez from the corner. Was that partially blocked? It might have been. Time runs out in this first half. 24 to 17. The Chinley Lady Wildcats lead Tuba City. We'll look at the brackets again here in just a bit. We will give you an update on that. Look at the numbers from the first half as well. On our halftime report coming up in just a bit, everybody. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Chin Lee 24, Tuba City 17, Northland Basketball and the 3A North Region Tournament presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud. What's your style? Classic, farmhouse, yeehaw, antique, contemporary, European, bonjour. The Furniture Gallery, located in Snowflake, are the experts to not only help you discover what makes you, you, but they'll do it with your budget in mind. The Furniture Gallery doesn't just sell furniture. They help you turn a house into a home where families laugh and celebrate, share a meal, and create lasting memories. At the Furniture Gallery, they'll do whatever it takes to make you a customer for life. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. 
The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. If there's one player on the field that outperforms the rest, it's Perkins Cinders. Like any all-star, they put in the hard work by sourcing, sorting, and delivering all things dirt. Concrete materials, gravel, cinders, topsoil, mulch, and more. With over five decades of knowledge and expertise, manpower, and a whole lot of horsepower, Perkins Cinders will help you score that huge win with your project. Serving the entire White Mountains at PerkinsCindersInc.com. Get a load of this. What can you do for that special Valentine in your life? How about take them out for a romantic steak dinner at Cattleman's Steakhouse, followed by two movie tickets to the WME Theaters. Then let them know their name is in the hat to win a Valentine adventure they will never forget. Premium VIP front row tickets to Blake Shelton live in concert with special guests Dustin Lynch and Emily Ann Roberts. And and if it couldn't get any better, add $1,000 cash. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have a broken windshield, call the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent and treat your Valentine to steak dinner, the movies, and a shot of front row tickets to see Blake Shelton live in concert and $1,000 cash. Call today. 536-597-2 Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. Hey, more of the fun continuing at halftime here. The plan, another round of tic-tac-toe at halftime. You get to win prizes. You come out to the... 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. Let's see, what are we going to get? Got a block, got a block. Oh, it didn't block. Well, you, there was only one. You could pick one place to block. You couldn't block in two spots. That was going to be a win for the O's. The O's have it. Everybody playing and having fun here with Tic-Tac-Toe at the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament, which is presented by choice and TUA wireless well my name is Floyd Simmons everybody thanks for joining us here and let's break it down at halftime so you take a look at some of the replay some of the highlights from the first half Chinley 24 Tuba City 17 in the this girls game and what does it look like from there Chinley is led in scoring by Dijon White nine points for her Nadia Jishi has five points a trio now make it two. Two of those Wildcats have three points each. Koa Yazzie's got three. George Vasquez has three. And two points for Desiree Yazzie. Two points for Hannah Kinez. Tuba City is led in scoring by Natasha Akafli. Seven points for her. Thalia Klitso off the bench with four points. And three of those Lady Warriors have two points. Justice Nez, Kiana, Susan Yadami, and Aubrey Bigail have two points in that first half for, for Tuba City. Well, they're both going to make the state playoffs. Both of these teams will get into the playoffs regardless of the outcome here tonight or the remainder of their games. They do not have to win or finish in second place in the tournament to get into the playoffs, get an automatic bid. But some teams out there, that's the best that they can hope for. Let me see if that applies to any of our teams that we cover in the 3A North, the 3A North. And I've got to tell you, it, it's just not the case for any of the North teams. They're all going to make the playoffs. Every one, seven teams are going to make the playoffs. Paige, the number one ranked team in 3A basketball, the Lady Sand Devils. They'll make the playoffs as the top seed. Window Rock will be the number two seed. They're the second ranked team in the state. So you got those two teams. And then you drop down to number eight. That's where you find Monument Valley who right now is poised to have a home first-round playoff game. Then you go to number 11, the Alchese Lady Falcons, defending 3A champions. Alchese is ranked number 11. They would be on the road in the first round 
of the playoffs. Tuba City is number 12. Also on the road in the playoffs. Chinle is number 13. They would be on the road in the first round of the playoffs. Oh, no, did I say that? I said that wrong. Pardon me on that. Pardon me. Al Jose would be at home in the first round. Tuba City at home. Chin Lee at home in the first round of the girls' playoffs. Ganado at home at number 16 right now in the first round of the playoffs. It'd be at home. Boy, I tell you, how about the North teams? Look at the great job they've done. The lowest rate North team is number 16. You count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> the North is. Having another dominant year out there. And it is going to be tough to get by the North to win a state championship. Tough for teams like the Sholo Cougars, defending runners-up. Sholo's got a great team. They really do. But it will be a test in the playoffs. For the, uh, the, the uh, Cougars, who have an overall record of 25 no no 26 26 and 2 26 and 2 for the Sholo Cougars what a season they've had so that's a look at the rankings nobody in the girls portion of the 3A North region tournament has to get in the top two nobody's got to but they would certainly love to love to get into the, the top two you want to be playing in the championship game on Saturday Overall records for the two teams we're watching right now, the Chin Lee girls are 11 and 15. Shows you how tough the North is. 11 and 15, and Chin Lee is the number 13 ranked team in the state. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight teams, nine now, nine teams. Below Chin Lee with above 500 records. Nine teams. That's how good the North is. So again, 11 and 15 overall record for Chin Lee. Tuba City's got the reverse. 15 and 11 overall record and one spot ahead in the state rankings over Chin Lee. And at halftime, Chin Lee, Chin Lee is in front of Tuba City 24 to 17. We'll grab this time out, everybody, and start the second half in a moment. More Northland basketball and the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament on the way in just a moment. Stand by. What can you do for that special Valentine in your life? How about take them out for a romantic steak dinner at Cattleman's Steakhouse, followed by two movie tickets to the WME Theaters. Then let them know their name is in the hat to win a Valentine adventure they will never forget. Premium VIP front row tickets to Blake Shelton live in concert with special guests Dustin Lynch and Emily Ann Roberts. And if it couldn't get any better, Add $1,000 cash. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have a broken windshield, call the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent and treat your Valentine to steak dinner, the movies, and a shot at front row tickets to see Blake Shelton live in concert and $1,000 cash. Call today. 536-597-2 can be like people, a little fun and a little unique. Who doesn't love a good guffaw? And the snort? That will always be a classic. Then there's the wheeze. Nothing like the imitation of a dying vacuum cleaner to make your day. The Furniture Gallery is committed to helping you find what makes you, you. Not only will they match your style, they will do it with your budget in mind. The Furniture Gallery, located in Snowflake, will help make your house into a home. And they'll do whatever it takes to make you a customer for life. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Let's get it started, everybody. Get back to the second half. It's underway. We're about 45 seconds in. No action to speak of yet. Chin Lee still holds that 24-17 lead over the Tuba City Warriors in this girls' game. Girls' game. The number four seeded 
Chinle Wildcats, the number five seed, the Tuba City Lady Warriors. Here's a ball saved in by Tuba into Dijon White. She's going to go one on two. And she must have cleared out a little bit because she gets called for an offensive foul. Trying to go in and get the points out of it. Two fouls in the game now on Dijon. And the inbound for Tuba. We're back in underway here. The 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. And lob inside. Somehow going to find its way into the hands of Tree City Ginian. Therese has that one. Cut Chinley's lead a little bit and a steal. That was Cindy Janey with the steal. Outlet taken back by the Wildcats and then their pass is stolen. It's Ariana Begay with the Tuba City steal. Ariana up the floor to Kiana, Susan Yonami. Those two ladies on the floor along with Justice Nez, Natasha Coffley and Therese Cindy Janey for Tuba. And they'll get the ball into Susan Yonami. On the right angle, Justice Nez. And they'll mishandle the ball toward the corner. That's off Ariana Begay's hands out of bounds. So it's going to be the Wildcats with the inbound coming up. And Koa Yazi to do the honors. Throw it in against the Tuba defense. Comes into Nevaeh Jishi. Now Georgia Vasquez. So you've got those two ladies along with Koa Yazi, Jaden Lynch. And number 50 to Joan White on the floor for, for the Wildcats. Ball out of bounds. The officials will talk it over. And they give the ball to the Wildcats. The Wildcats get the basketball. Let's take a look at the officials that we have working this one. Working this one today. You've got uh, David Hawley out there. Michael Seabee. And also Shannon Gorman. Shannon Gorman are the officials here for this one. Koyazi across the top of the key. Jaden Lynch to Dijon, back to Jaden, and then she'll shovel it back to Koa. Deep on the angle right side. Tree Cindy Jenny trying to stay with her, and she does. Good job defensively to Dijon. It goes in, and it's tied up, shot blocked. And a good job by Natasha Coffley, who for a minute there, you could see she felt like, oh my, you know, they're going to call a foul on me. She had that almost exasperated response to hearing the whistle. Instead, it works in her favor. Shot block and jump ball. Ariana Begay on the baseline loses control for Tuba. Hannah Canez, the outlet. Jaden Lynch smacked, knocked down. Two shots on the way for Jaden. We'll see if it's Natasha who was in front or the defender behind. And it is Natasha Copley who picks up the foul. That's our third in the game. Well, that's a little trouble right there. Here's, yeah, there's the contact for sure. Five oh six remaining in the third quarter, everybody. Jaden Lynch scores for the first time today from the free throw line. So after the region tournament, we're going to find out they have to withhold for a moment on. And of course, there's other games out there in the state being played. So we don't know what the final rankings, final seedings for the state tournament are going to be. But if you win boys and girls tournament here in uh, Winderock, if you win or finish second, you get an automatic bid to the playoffs. If you were already by the rankings in the top 24, then you don't take anybody's place. However, on the boys side, there's a chance for at least one team to, to steal a spot. And it's the Ganado Hornets. Ganado. There's Malcolm Young, the athletic director here for Window Rock. Thank you to him and his great staff. Look at that. Kiana Susan Yadami heads up play. The defender had her back to Kiana, so she just threw it off of the back of uh, that defender, Dijon White. Now she's Dijon's getting a little instruction from Coach McCurtain on how to defend that inbound and not give uh, Kiana such an easy way to make a basket next time. By the way, did I hear somebody say... Did I hear somebody say... Uh, 
Green chili cheeseburger after the game? Did I hear something about that? I thought I heard that. Ariana Begay for Tuba City. Justice Nez on the drive, and she gets hacked. Is that going to be Koa, or is that? I think it is. It is Koa Yazi. Koa had that guilty smile on her face. Listen, Koa's got three personal fouls now. Let's see how long Coach McCurtain goes with her star player. She is not reaching for the bench yet. Inbound, Susan Yadami gets it back. Three-point shot, no good. Nevaeh just she clears it out for, for the Wildcats. And this pass, long pass goes over Dijon. Out of bounds. It'll be back to Tuba City. 25 to 21. Neither team right now, offensively, with anything to be too proud of. Pick and roll. And the shot is no good for Aubrey Begay. Hannah Nez, outlet, Nevaeh Jishi, right side, jump shot on the way from 15 feet out there. That one's going to count for Koa Yazi. Good looking shot for Koa. Believe it or not, that's just her second field goal in the game. She's got five points. 27-21 now. Just passed halfway through the third quarter. At the end of the game, the Mountain Mobile, no other, it's the uh, Sports Zone Player of the Game. It's brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. We'll have a discussion with our player of the game, whoever that might be. There's a shot that goes up and no good for Koa. Tuba's going to have that rebound. Baseline runner, Justice Nez unable, and then Justice collides with and runs over. Jaden Lynch. That'll be a second foul of the game whistled on Justice. Here comes Desiree Yazi into the game, replacing Lynch. Georgia Vasquez checks in, and she will replace. Didn't see who, didn't see who left the game. In favor of uh, Georgia. So I'll just I'll just let you know who the Wildcats have out there. Well, we're going to get a timeout first. How about that? We'll take a timeout with uh, Tuba City. Coach Williams calling that one for her Warriors. 3:06 remaining third quarter, and a six-point advantage for the Wildcats. Stand by Northland basketball in the 3A North Region tournament presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. 27 to 21. That's our score, everybody. Chin Lee in front of Tuba City in this girls' game. Day one of the 3A North Region Tournament. There's a jump shot that Ariana Begay couldn't land. And we go under three minutes remaining in the, in the third quarter of this one. Top of the key. Koyazi. She turned right into Kiana Susan Yadami, who knocked the ball out. And then a loose ball scooped up. Coach McCurtain calls a Wildcats timeout. That's going to leave them with three. Three timeouts remaining in the game. For Chin Lee, Tuba City's also got three timeouts. Northland basketball fans. We'll, uh, let's look at those brackets again and give the folks an idea what is what's remaining out there. First of all, we'll take a look at the uh, girls bracket there. So this is the first girls game of the day. Two more remaining at 4.30. Number three seeded Monument Valley against number six Alchese. Then at 7.30 tonight here in Window Rock. Number two, Window Rock will take on the seven seed Ganado. Ganado, that's what the girls bracket looks like for the remainder of today. The winner of this game gets to play tomorrow against the top seeded Page Lady Sand Devils. Here's an inbound. Koa forces it up. Missed it. Got it back. Feed it outside. Nevea Jishi. That three won't go in, and it's knocked out of bounds. Boy, Koa, be careful, be careful. She's got three personal fouls. 
She slapped that one out of bounds, and I, she almost had that, that look of, uh-oh, I, I think I might have committed a foul, but the official's going to call that just a knock out of bounds. So for the moment, Koa will stay at three personal fouls. Tuba City, downtown, Ariana Begay missed the shot. Aubrey Begay on the follow. Well done by Aubrey. And with the make, Tuba City gets within four. Jin Lee looking for some space here, and a three from Koa did not land from in front of their bench. Wildcat bench, rebound. Kiki, Susan Yadami, she's got it up the floor. Ariana on the baseline, knocked out of her hands, out of bounds. Thank you, sir. Ball goes out of bounds. We get this whistle. Looks like Georgia Vasquez gets called for her first foul of the game. Team fouls, team fouls with a minute 47 left in the third quarter. There are even three team fouls on each of the teams. And here's a ball that gets knocked out of bounds. The Wildcats are going to take back over. So after the region tournament and after they see the teams for the state playoffs coming up on Tuesday, on Tuesday, it will be... Well, who's first, the girls or the boys Tuesday? Is it the girls Tuesday or the boys Tuesday? I think it's the girls on Tuesday, right? And the boys on Wednesday. That'll be the first round of the state playoffs, home of the highest seed. Seeds number 9 through 24 will face off against each other. So then on Wednesday, it'll be the... Wednesday will be the uh, boys. This shot no good from the top of the key. Bounces around to the city. Will they have it? It's loose. And picked up by Thalia Klitzo. So the Warriors keep this alive. Trailing by four points. Tree Sinigini tried to get three back right there. Missed it. Rebound. Dijon White. And knocked out of bounds. Wildcats will face full court. Tuba City pressure on the inbound. And this one is going to go out of bounds. Great job by the official right there. Great job by the official. She deserves a real shout out. That's uh, Shannon Gorman with the great table save to save our uh, sports zone gear. We got a lot of expensive broadcast gear right here on the table. Thank you, Shannon. Tuba had it. Wildcats get it back. Nevea, right side, Jaden across into front court. There's Koa on the right angle. To the top of the key, swinging around left side, Jaden Lynch. Now there's Alyssa Williams with the lob, and DeJone turns right into the defender. Kiki Susan Yadami, who fouls her to send her to the foul line. Two shots on the way. Kiki's got her first foul of the game. DeJone will go into double figures right here, be the first lady in the game to do that if she makes a foul shot. It's going to have to wait for the second try. Here's that lob, turn right in, and Susan Yadami. Kind of tough. I mean, she was in no man's land defensively right there. Boy, I tell you, DeJone couldn't get the shot to go in. Got 40 seconds left in the quarter. And the, and the score for the quarter, listen to this. It's just for the quarter alone. It's Tuba City 6, Chinley 3. 6 to 3. That's it. Not too much offense. Let's see what Koa can do right here. Free throw good. She's got 6 in the game. And makes another. So 30 on the game clock, 25 on the shot clock. Tuba from the corner, dribble it out. Klitso right there. Sinigeni's pass inside. Knocked down by Koa Yazi. 15 on the shot clock. And an open look for 
Kiki, she missed the three. Rebound, Tuba inside. Aubrey Begay. Shot good, and she's going to the foul line. Uh oh, that's bad news. Koyazi just picked up personal foul number four in the game. So Koa will leave for the final 11 seconds of the quarter. Coach has got to get her out of there. You can't commit that foul with that last foul with, at this juncture. Koa might not start the fourth quarter. Inbound. Time running out. Taken away by Tuba. One second. No, nope, not going to get a shot away. Look at the score here. Chin Lee 29, Tuba City 26. Makoa Yazi in huge foul trouble. Got four fouls now. She goes to the bench for the Wildcats. The fourth quarter is next. Stand by for it. Northland Basketball and the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Not only does Perkins Cinders dominate site excavation, driveway building, and underground utility installation, they operate cinder pits and mines where they are literally crushing materials year-round. Don't just finish a construction job, crush it. Perkins Cinders, helping you get a load of this. Just got the word, just got the word. There is stew and other food waiting for us in the hospitality room. The question is, is it going to be possible for us to, to get away, break away long enough? Maybe the post-game interviews that we do here with our, our player or players of the game, whatever that ends up being, maybe that'll be a short discussion. I don't know. Find out, there's food awaiting us. And I'm getting pretty hungry at 2.40 in the afternoon. Last time I ate was very, very early in the morning at the start of a very long trip with some treacherous conditions on the way out here. But we made it, and here we are. Day one of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. Coverage presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. There's a steal. Hannah and Ness steals for Chin Lee. This fourth quarter underway, about 35 seconds in. Koyazi on the bench with four fouls for the Wildcats. And if they get shots like that, they won't miss her much. Hanukkah Nez, big three-point basket for the Wildcats. Looks like the Page Sand Devils boys basketball team have arrived, making their way into the arena. Tuba, pass stolen by Jaden Lynch. Jaden is facing two defenders in backcourt, needs help, gets it away. There's Alyssa Williams up into front court now. Dijon White. There's Nevaeh Jishi in the corner. Hannah Kinez out there with that group. On the other side, Tuba City. Aubrey Begay defensively covering Jaden Lynch. Man-to-man -man Tuba defense. Kiana Susan Yadami tapped the dribble. And then, and then Chin Lee did kick it out. The officials are going to get together and talk about it. They might reverse this. They're giving it to Chin Lee right now. They might give it to Tuba because, and, and Kiki's right, I think. The officials are going to talk it over. We'll see if they decide to give it. Nope, they're going to stay. Stay with the Wildcats. Comes the inbound. Kiki Susan Yadami, Aubrey Begay is out there on the floor. Ariana Begay. Justice Nez. There is uh, Natasha Coffley defensively. And we're going to get a jump ball after that miss. Mentioned uh, Kiki Susan Yadami on the floor right now. The Ariana Begay. I think Aubrey might have left. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to re rethink that. Aubrey, Aubrey Begay checked out. Tree Sinigini is in the game for Tuba City. Help. 
Pass inside is tipped off the hands. It's too high, really, off the hands of, of Kiki. That goes out of bounds. 6.09 on the clock in the fourth quarter. Coach Kim Williams calling it out, giving instructions to her defense. She wants that, that diamond, whatever that is. They're going to run the diamond. And Natasha Coffley tips away a pass. Scramble. Wildcats pick it up. And into front court. Nice. Jaden Lynch feeds Georgia Vasquez, but the shot didn't go in. And these two teams are burning a lot of clock right now. A lot of clock. There's a whistle on the Wildcats. It was uh, Jaden who picked up her first foul today. Well, didn't get any points out of it, but what the Wildcats have done with their hustle out there is they have, since the last time Tuba City has scored anything, the Wildcats have done a good job to burn clock. And there's a long outlet from Dijon White to Nevaeh Jishi. That one won't go in. Jump ball on the ensuing rebound. So every second that ticks off is a welcome. That's welcome by, uh, by Coach McCurtain. Inbound pass for the Wildcats. Nevaeh couldn't control. But then there's Georgia Vazquez to get it back for the Wildcats. Speaking of back, this lady is back. Koa Yazian just in time for the Wildcats. Koa with the three. The Wildcats have outscored Tuba City 6-0 on two threes in the fourth quarter. And a blocking foul. Called on the Wildcats. Dijon White. Three fouls in, the, in this game on Dijon. There's Koa. Step in, come in, join the, join the group again and contribute in a big way. That's answered with a three by Ariana Miguel. Good looking shot, Ariana. 4.50 on the clock in the fourth quarter. There's more Koa Yazi. Koa now 12 points in the game. The only lady on either roster with double figures. Look at that, in the paint, the pass had to be defended by Ariana Begay. That was going right straight to Dijon White. <laughs> and uh, she had to turn into a defender. Koa Yazi buries another big shot. Koa comes in off the bench fourth quarter. And she is loving it. She's happy. She scored seven, eight points. Make it eight points. And her team has outscored Tuba City 11-3 in the fourth quarter to grab an 11-point lead. Maybe they're counting that as a two. I don't know because it's a 39-29 score on the board. We'll grab a timeout. This is Northland Basketball and the 3A North Region Tournament presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. With Choice and TUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Well, I, I thought that last shot by Koa was a three-point basket, wasn't it? Wasn't it a three? I thought it was a three. Credit is being given, I think, for a two. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. 40 to 39 is what I have in my book, but the official scorekeeper says 39-29. We'll go with them. That's one that's going to count. So a 10-point Wildcat lead. And a pass that gets stolen. Freshly into the game is Raquel Lee, and Raquel's pass was kicked around by the Wildcat defense. Jump ball is indicated. The inbound on the way for Tuba City. Four minutes and five seconds left. Inbound Raquel Lee to the right angle. That's Thalia Klitso. She's going to get a return pass from the baseline. And then outside, Ariana Begay wants the threes. Got the three. 
And Rihanna's got a couple of those in the fourth quarter. Big makes. Her first points of the game came in this fourth period. Up the floor, Jaden Lynch. Nope, not going to make it. But she is going to the free throw line. Dropping back, Ariana Begay tried to get there for the play. Well, that was that was more than a three. That was like a three. And then some. If that was the Sports Zone's Northland Basketball All-Star Games, that would have been a, a four-point basket right there. Because that's how we roll. Don't you know? One out of two from the line for Jaden Lynch. Koyazi with a pair of threes in the quarter has 15 points. 15 points to lead the way for the Wildcats. Now defensively try to keep Tuba City from getting too, too easy a look. Bounce pass to Aubrey Begay. Her runner off the glass will glance off no good. Jaden Lynch comes out of the pack with rebound and a pass up to Florida Koa to the trailer. And that's good. Koa the assist. Dijon White the basket. 11 in the game for Dijon. Right side here is Klitzo with it for Tuba City. Running out of uh, running out of hope, the Warriors. And when I say hope, I mean hope for winning a region tournament championship because they're going to the playoffs. Playoffs. Zuba City is the number 12 ranked team in the state. They'll have a home playoff game in the first round. Jin Lee is number 13. Also will be at home. From the uh, north, Al Jose, number 11, will be at home in the playoffs. Hey, the Blue Red Yellow Jackets have a, a home girls playoff game coming up. Monument Valley right now is set for a bye if they stay in the number eight position. Set for a bye. Ganado would even have a home playoff game if they can stay where they're at, number 16. The Ganado Lady Hornets. What a dominant year again for the North. Page and Winderock have first round playoff buys. Monument Valley would have a first round playoff buy. There's Koa again. And look at the smile on her face. Koa's feeling it and loving it. She scored 10, 10 points in the quarter. 17 for the game. Two minutes and one second left and a 12-point Wildcat lead. Look again. There's Koa. Change directions. And let's see the smile. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. That was a toothy smile, and you could tell even from the side angle. Hey, look at that three. That was much needed. Thalia Klitzo trying to keep her team in the game. Nine-point Wildcat lead. Ball gets punched out. Aubrey Begay the defense. Ariana Begay the finish right here. She's going to get it. The officials let contact play out on both ends of that. There was some contact on the shot made by, by Ariana, but there was also contact by Tuba City on the last possession where they got the steal. So it's good for the Goots. It's good for the Gander. There's a whistle. And it's knocked out of bounds. Koa still alive here with a minute 23 remaining in regulation. Will the Wildcats win, and will they get a chance to play Tuba City or uh, Page? Page, the number one seed in the tournament tomorrow. Nevea Jishi, 17 on the shot clock. Hannah Kinez likes the look and uh, almost got the three, did not quite go in. Aubrey Begay came down hard on the play. She's trailing back there. She's okay, but she got up slow. Inside. And a shooting foul. Indicated. Koa Yazi is just fouled out of the game. Five fouls for Koa. She leaves with 56.8 seconds remaining. She gets an ovation from the Wildcat fans. Job well done by Koa. 17 points to lead the way. 
Koa, I think, in the driver's seat for the Sports Zone's player of the game. This is Ariana Begay's had a great fourth quarter. All of Ariana's points, all eight points have been scored here in the fourth quarter. Two threes and a deuce. And a, and a free throw as well, so nine points. That's She leads the scoring for Tuba, and she scored it all right here in the fourth quarter. Full timeout requested by Coach Francine McCurtain. Wildcats will spend that timeout. That'll be plenty of time for us to talk about. Talk about the rest of the day one tournament games here for you. There are four games remaining, four games remaining here today. And what are those games, you ask? What are those games? It's a good question. For the boys, coming up next, number three, Monument Valley, will take number six, take on number six, Alchese, here in Window Rock. That's at 3 o'clock today. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit late. Follow that game with a girls game. Same two teams. Monument Valley is number three in the boys and in the girls. And Alchese is number six in the boys and the girls. So you get Monument Valley versus Alchese in, in both a, a boys game next and then the girls game after that. And then another boys game at six o'clock. That is number two seeded Page versus number seven Window Rock. Follow that with number two, Window Rock of the girls, taking on number seven, Ganado. Ganado. And then tomorrow, the semifinals, there will be a grand total of four games played. Tomorrow starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, it's a girls semifinal. And then following that at 4.30, boys semifinal. We don't know who's going to play in either one of those. We do know that uh, for the boys, in the final game of the day tomorrow at 7.30, the top-seeded Chinle Wildcats are going to take on the number four seed Ganado boys. We know that matchup. It looks like the Chinle girls are about to advance and get to play Paige tomorrow. Tuba City cannot get a foul. They're kind of trying to, but they're they're unable to. 25 seconds left. Three on the shot clock. Hannah Kinez, and it's no good. Rebound Tuba. This one is going to be in the books. We will speak to our sports on player of the game. Presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. We'll talk to Koa Yazi, the player of the game. Koa, the unanimous player of the game. For the Chinle Lady Wildcats, that's going to happen right after our contest. 12.7 seconds left here. Timeout has been taken. Look, there's time right here. If you get it in and get a real quick basket and then steal the inbound or, or get a foul, you know, it's it, it, the theory is still standing there for, for Tuba. They can win the game. Coach Williams is coaching up her, her ladies Tuba City after this after this timeout Tuba will have two timeouts left so you know they've got that to work with Wildcats have one timeout remaining so we get ready to uh, get to our post game work in just a moment will the Wildcats hold on they have this incredible this incredible uh, uh, scorers table with the big the big banner there, the <clears throat> digital banner in front of the scores table, and, and it's it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful addition. It wasn't here that I recall the last time we were at the Fighting Scouts Event Center, and it's it's yeah, unbelievable, really. It adds to all of the all of the, what they have here, the the jumbotron stuff hanging overhead. Inbound for the Wildcats, and a very quick foul. That was that was quick. That was exactly what you needed. Problem is that's only the second foul on Tuba, and that, so they got to keep fouling, keep fouling. Klitzo picks up her third foul on that, and that that burned time off. See, that's the other thing we weren't talking about it, but Tuba's got to commit three more fouls before they can get Wildcats to the line, and now they they lose another what three four seconds before finally an Aubrey Begay foul, and that is. That is, that is team foul number three, so they still got to foul two more times. Two more times to get 
the Wildcats to the foul line and 7.9 seconds left. And if this goes under five, under five seconds, then it's going to be all academic, as the professor, Leroy Thomas, the official, would say. All academic. Inbound, Jaden Lynch. Time burning down. Across into front court. Two seconds left. A steal. A steal, but... Shot no good, and that's how it ends. And it's a Chinley Lady Wildcat victory over Tuba City. 44-40. to 40. Chinley is going to face the Page Sand Devils tomorrow. That game to be played at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Top-seeded Page to take on the number four seed Chin Lee in the next round. Tomorrow's semifinal round of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. We'll talk to the Sports Zone's player of the game. That is Koa Yazi, everybody. Koa Yazi will spend some time with us coming up in just a little bit. Played a great game. Played a great second half, Koa did to ice the game. And we're going to get her thoughts on this one in just a moment. And then we will end our broadcast of this girls game and we'll take a few minutes to start the next game. We'll start the next one coming up live here from the Fighting Scouts Event Center in Winderock. Game three of six for you today. It'll be a boys game. Number three, Monument Valley. Number six, Alchese. That's what we have coming up for you in just a little bit. By the way, after that boys game, it'll be Monument Valley's girls taking on Alchese. After the Monument Valley boys take on Alchese. All of that right here. Part of our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. Brought to you by Choice and TUA Wireless as you keep looking at those... Uh, Highlights from this victory. In just a moment, just a moment, we'll get a chance to talk to our Sports Zone Player of the Game. Player of the Game is brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Here come the Alchesay Falcon boys to the floor. Get their warm-ups in. Monument Valley should make an appearance soon. And as soon as they go by our location to shoot our post-game discussion, we'll get... Get our player of the game. Monument Valley is taking the floor. Thanks for being with us out there. More than 1,500 people right now in this moment on our just our YouTube channel. Forget what the numbers are on Facebook. That number is big, too. Final score in this girls matchup from the 3A North Region Tournament. Chinley 44, Tuba City 40. Chinley will advance to play the top seed page tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the girls semifinals of the North Region Tournament. It's presented by White Mountain. No, it's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. The player of the game is brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And there she is on your screen. Joining us now is the junior. That star for Chin Lee, her name is Koa Yazi. Koa. Hi, Floyd. It's good to see you. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Good win for you and the ladies. And uh, boy, I tell you, you had a fourth quarter to remember. That was a great <laughs> performance out there in that quarter. The Thank big you. threes that you hit, uh, you complimented that with other shots from the field, and you ended up on a, on a great night. The high point ladies, 17 points. Congratulations. Tell me about the win Thank you. from it your was, perspective. Um, you know, it was kind of hard. We knew they were going to come out tough just as much as we wanted it to. Um, I think overall we just really stuck into what we wanted to do and all together it came out really good. We came out with the win. I'm very satisfied with that. <laughs> Koa, it's been a little bit of an up and down year for your, for your Wildcats, but to show you how good the North is and how tough the North is, even with the sub-500 record, your team is ranked in the top uh, 13 in the state. Um, what do you, you went to the to the semifinals last year. What do you think this team is capable of, of accomplishing? I think we're much as capable of going back as well. Um, we're just as ready. We're putting ourselves in that mindset of having in the, in the state tournament and this tournament. Uh, we're just really looking forward to see how far we'll get. And I have no doubt that we will probably make it back to Final Four. Okay. Uh, so that's obviously a big, uh, a big, uh, a challenge to accomplish for sure for anybody, all the teams. I yes. mean, it's so tough in the three. Let me bring you back to the game itself and, and give me your thoughts on what it took to get this win today. 
It took a lot. Um, obviously, we really had to um, take care of that, take care of the ball. We knew Tuba's defense was really good. They knew they could pressure us. They they know we've been, we played them about three times already, so we know each other very well. So we just had to be smarter, patient, and calm. We can't let their their pressure that they put on us for defense. We can't let that get to us on our offense, and we had to execute on basically every possession we tried to get. Um, you know, there's turnovers, but we had no doubt that we were going to get that ball back. Koa, I love to see these young student athletes like yourself having a great time out there, having fun playing this game. I mean, why play if you're not having fun? And when you hit a couple of those shots in the fourth quarter, that smile, ear to ear, you were beaming out there. Were you having the time of your life? For sure, I was having my time of life. I hit, I hit a fast break, I hit two back to back threes. This feels amazing scoring and having that feeling inside of you of like that spark and that ignition, like, yeah, that spark to get, like, just keep playing. You know, um, I had to really, I feel like I had to really be out there, <laughs> had to kind of lead my team in that way and just for them to have fun as well. And other than that, I, I think it was just amazing. It was just an amazing feeling. <laughs> Well, listen, we wish you the best tomorrow. You get to take on the top seed page, and, uh, and we look forward to seeing uh, the, the Lady Wildcats uh, yet again tomorrow, okay? All right, for sure. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Koa Yazi, the Sports Zone's player of the game. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Sports fans, uh, what a what a game. What a performance by, by that young lady, her and her team. They get the 44-40 to 40 victory over Tuba City in the first round of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. Well... With that said, we're going to wrap up this broadcast, everybody. We've got another one on the way here in just a little bit. The Monument Valley boys are number three seeded in the tournament. They're going to take on the number six seeded out to say Falcons in just a few moments. We'll end this broadcast, start a whole new one for you here in just a little bit, okay? Start a whole new broadcast. So look for it. Refresh your uh, your browser, all that kind of stuff, and we'll, we'll come at you again here from Windrock in just a little bit with this boys game coming up. Thank you to Derek Simmons, our producer. Our technical director is Julio K. And uh, also with us working camera in this one is, is uh, Leonard Keone. For the entire crew, Floyd Simmons, thanking you for joining us, everybody, saying God bless you and reminding you to join us for the boys game from the tournament coming up on day one here in just a few moments on the Sports on Radio YouTube and Facebook channels. Until then, we'll see you in just a couple of moments with more action from Winderock presented by Choice NTUA Wireless.